My lovely darlings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karolina and we're going to talk today about some really, really cool subject. And we're going to chat about how to dress and what to wear when we're actually going for a safari. So something much more like um, this kind of African vibe, this kind of very natural colors, obviously. And for like a journey of adventure, I would say. And obviously safari might, might not be for everyone. I think like there is some kind of... Um, Obviously, some people get to the age that they really want to go to see like um, natural like life, like wildlife in Africa, like you want to see elephants, you want to see lions, you know, there is something very exciting about that. Obviously, it, it can be obviously to be dangerous. So I would say we would probably would love to do that, but maybe when the children are already like very like adult or teenagers and then maybe it's going to be better for us to do it and I hope one day we're going to do it because I feel like this is really something very exciting and such an edu educational as well experience to actually see how those animals live in real life and there's one thing to watch them in TV and another thing to see them actually in life so for that reason I was thinking it's another great subject to talk about um, when it comes to like um, elegance when it comes to how to dress because obviously on the safari you're not going to wear any dress like elegant dress but you're going to have this kind of more um, this kind of more like a casual style of your clothes and that's what we're going to talk about today what should we wear when we are on the safari so first what I already mentioned uh, I think the most important is to wear some kind of natural color so it's going to be everything from this type of like sand of the colors, of color of the sun, color of the nature that surrounds us. So it's not going to be super, super green, but it's going to be more like a already dryish color. So all this kind of like a darker green, uh, maybe khaki, uh, brownish colors. Those are going to be really, really spot on. And obviously colors like color of the linen, so this kind of like a beige colors, those are going to be really, really nice as well because you're not going to catch so much sun, so you're not going to feel like when you're wearing dark, for example, black, then obviously you're feeling more warmer rather than when you're wearing more like natural, more uh, lighter colors. So you want to obviously um, think about like when you're going to wear something, you don't want to wear that is going to be very, very like warm. You don't want to feel like it's just too much because obviously African sun can be very, very strong. Um, you want to feel that the, the, the materials, the fabrics you're wearing, they are breathable, that you have this kind of comfort. You don't want to really feel like you squeeze or anything like this. You want to wear more like loose clothes, clothes that allow you to move in very, very easy way as well. But And then obviously choosing those clothes in this type of natural colors would be really, really good. Um, obviously for the maybe daytime, you will be wearing more like, a, you know, clothes are going to be from warmer weather but over the night it actually um, can get very very cold so you would need some kind of clothes that are actually going to keep you warm as well so it's not only that you're going to like you're going maybe somewhere for Spain to holiday like you're going to Spain for holiday that you're just going to grab some kind of warm clothes that's it no in this situation is actually you need to think about and plan it a little bit more because over during the day it's going to be very warm but during the night it's going to be m more cold so you need to have some kind of warmer clothes as well for that and uh, whatever you're going to sleep most of the time there's not going to be like heating so uh, i'm talking like more like a safari you know sleeping somewhere maybe tent or something like this obviously if you're going to some kind of hotel then probably they're going to be heating there but um talking more about this kind of like a tent style because i think that's another part of the safari that everybody everybody would like to do that like sleep in this kind of um, nice tent and somewhere in the safari as well obviously it's some kind of safe environment um but yes yeah, so Overall, you need to think about warm clothes as well, like um, not very, very warm, but something that you're not going to be very, very cold during the night, but also clothes that you're going to wear during the day that allows you, that they are very breathable, like linen, they are um, very like allowing you to move and you're not feeling that anything like bother you. 
great idea is to take with you some kind of longer, very like a, this is kind of safari type of trousers, I would say. So those trousers are really, really great because they are more loose, they are covering your legs so as well. You want to be protected from some kind of um, bugs or anything like this. So um, they're not going to give you so much like warmth because they are quite like, a, the materials and the fab fabric is quite like light. So for that reason, I think those trousers are really, really great. Obviously taking some shorts with you, it's a good idea as well, but there are moments that you will be feeling more comfortable to actually wear longer trousers because you're going to, I don't know, you know that that particular day you're going to spend longer traveling or something like this and maybe crossing somewhere a river or something and you just like want to feel like you're more covered. Then those type of trousers, I think like are really, really great as well. and. Um, there is something about them that we just like we see that and we like oh it's like perfect safari outfit what we shouldn't really forget to take with us when we think about safari is a hat and uh, this is something that i would just say it's a must like sometimes you maybe can forget a hat and just buy somewhere on holiday another type of like floppy hat in this situation you want to have uh, some kind of structure hat that allows you it's really the main purpose of this hat is not going to really look great it's about protecting your head from the sun and that's a really really strong sun so you want something that actually give you this kind of SPF and it's really going to protect you and you're not going to actually worry that you can maybe get um, some kind of sunburn or you can like get some kind of uh, just too warm on your head that it can be in some way dangerous for you so for that reason you know hat is something you really must have with you when you are going for safari and uh, when it comes as well I wanted to mention a little bit shoes that we're not going um, for safari thinking that you know you're going to wear some kind of flip-flops or something like this you need to have a i think two different type of shoes one shoes that if you know you're going to spend again in the car there will be some dust from the you know from the road as well around you then i would rather go for some kind of maybe a little bit higher like a boots more like a heavy style of boots because those again going to protect you maybe from some kind of snakes you know you need to be um, conscious about those kind of things especially if you know you're going to maybe walk somewhere you know in with some kind of guide um, and then obviously if you know you're going to stay in some kind of resort for a while then obviously you need some kind of sandals as well so it is also about like if you know that you're just going somewhere to Africa and it's going to be more resort and maybe one day you're going for some kind of safari then it's obviously a different story as well but if you know that you're going for main trip it's going to be like a safari trip and and that's going to be like a main thing then I would say um, having this kind of high like a like a stronger boots are going to be a good idea as well obviously when you're going for safari you're going to prepare yourself you're going to take probably a lot of uh, pictures with you you're going to have a camera maybe you're going to have your phone maybe you're going to have your phone and camera on top of that and some other things you need to have always a bottle of water on you somewhere so it's a good idea to have some kind of like a bag with you and it's rather to have some kind of bag that maybe it's like a crossbody, so it's again not going to bother you, not going to hold it in your hand um, all the time because you want to have your hands free to take actually the pictures. So for that reason, some kind of maybe leather bag or some kind of even like a type of like a basket um, or straw bag, but just something that you can cross over your body and this way you don't need to really worry about this bag you just it's it's on you and uh, whatever you need to have access to this bag you're going to have it but it's not something that you need to call it and think oh my bag is here and you know it's not this this is not the time for this kind of super luxury bags or some kind of um bags that you need to be conscious all the time this is the time you need to have something that's actually going to have be useful you're going to have water maybe you're going to have some kind of um you know still passport on you who knows you know i don't know exactly how the works like with this kind of safari trips if you need all the, your documents with you but if you're moving all the time then obviously you're going to need to have some kind of stuff with you um and for like safety reasons as well i think it's good to have some kind of stuff with you so it's just this kind of little bit bigger type of bag that you can actually have everything what you need or uh, with you it's it's just good idea and you don't want to hold it you want to have have it on like cross your body so it's just like attached to you. 
Overall, I would like to say that this is just something like for me that's a dream, you know, one day to go for this kind of safari adventure and maybe on the evening sit somewhere, even like do maybe a marshmallow, you know, in, in Africa, it would be just absolutely amazing. And I'm sure one day we're going to do something like this, but this is just some, this kind of dream that it's not for now, that this is a dream that um, I would like to do it in maybe in 20 years time, you know, once I maybe like... 40 then I uh, 40 50 50 then I would like to do something like this and I would know that my kids are already grown so you don't really want to worry like I was reading actually um about like like can you actually take kids for safari and there was this kind of um, article that they were saying like kids you can't really predict what your kids are going to do when they are small and you can't really predict like behavior of the animals so those two together just doesn't really go together so um, it's better to do this kind of trips one your while your children are already like uh, much more mature so they are not like um, 10 they are maybe more like 16 or something like this so um, you know it's, it's not a problem you know you can do that later on in your life I just hope all those animals are still going to be existing at that stage because we all know how the environment is going and what kind of direction it's going um, but yes, I feel like this kind of safari trip would be just a dream, just something absolutely fabulous, fabulous and um, I hope you have a similar dream and you will be thinking maybe one day to do that once everything is open again um, to actually go on a safari and now you know what, what really to dress, you know, and what to wear in this kind of environment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and see you in the next one.